Hey everyone, Garrett Flowers at Cinemark. I'm joined by a man who needs no introduction, Tom Hanks. Hey. He plays Otto Anderson. <laughs> Good to see you. Otto is pretty grumpy. What does this movie tell you about getting to know people? And I'm gonna fight you on the grumpy thing. He's not grumpy, he's right. There's a big difference. There's a big difference. Being grumpy is like nothing works. Nothing is satisfying. Everything is wrong. No, Otto is right. You can't park there. <laughs> you know, you, you, um, I didn't ask you. I didn't ask for this. That's true. That, that that's all. That's all just right. Uh, the 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 it, the grumpiness is in the I guess in the eye of the uh, whoever is the you know the the the, the sufferer. The sufferer does. But we all we all we all know. There's, everybody knows an auto, and I'm gonna say, Garrett, you yourself have been an auto on occasion. When you walk downstairs, you say, who put this here? Who put this here? That's a, that's an auto moment, man. Why did, oh, you didn't use your turn signal, did you? That's an auto moment, that's an auto moment. So you've been there well. Now, were you grumpy or were you right? You were right. What does this movie tell you about getting to know people and not judging them at face value? I think that's what the, the core of the, film is, you know, about um, to see the good in people, uh, you know, to try. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard because some people are, you know, <laughs> like uh, in this case, Otto. But, um, but to try t and, to, and, to, and to focus on the good and that, uh, I think that's uh, an open that, uh, you know, a door that opens you to start, you know, connecting to, to other people that are, that are different from you. There are so many Pre prejudices. The the word itself says it. You know, it's prejudgments about people. And and uh, well, we all have our own story. We're, we're we're all carrying our own pains and experiences. And uh, when we don't judge, not only do we become more interesting as a person, but we have the opportunity to really connect with the person we have in front and to really kind of be receptive and and resonate in their own experience because we all are the same essence, so. Yeah. We all know, have an auto in our lives. We all know the, the, those sort of archetypical character who is the auto, if it's your uncle or your dad or sometimes ourselves. But to have this sort of curmudgeon the kind of uh, kind of edge, but the, the beautiful thing about the the neighbor is she's opening her heart and she's opening his heart to this to this man and doesn't give up. And I think it's often in life uh, it's about opening our hearts. And I think this is what this movie is about about community coming together, life affirming, opening your heart. Got some new neighbors. Bye. Edward husband. I brought you some food. Okay. okay. Bye. Are you always this unfriendly? I am not unfriendly. Okay, you're not. Every word you say is like a warm cuddle. You know, this movie was really emotional in part because of the self-harm aspect. How did you approach directing those scenes? Obviously, the, the movie is based on an international bestseller that sold 10 million copies, A Man Called Over. So, Frederick Beckman, the author, gets a lot of credit for it, of already in the novel, like addressing the drama and the comedy. And we try to adapt it as truthful as possible. But that's what really, uh, like, sort of inspired me about it, too, because it shows the light sides and the darkness. And it's always the yin and the yang. And it's, it's truthfully walk trying to find that tone in the movie, that silver lining between comedy and drama and taking those, those moments very serious when, when he's, he's dealing with, with his, the, these moments where he doesn't want to live anymore and really looking at that, but at the same time also step, stepping back and finding the sort of, uh, ultimately that he, the hope and the light in his life. God wanted Otto alive so that his life would go through the changes that it does. Along with that comes a number of very social responsible things that I think any, any broad-based movie needs to adhere to, particularly if there is a quote-unquote humorous bent to what the, what the self-harm moments could be. So we, there was an awful lot of discussion about it and there was an awful lot of uh, 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 examination of how it went through. And uh, the, the end result is, is that I think the point is that yes, uh, Otto had to fail at all those attempts in order to go on for the true essence of living, which is to be connected with people who he loves and who love him. Absolutely, absolutely. A Man Called Otto is a special movie you should see on the big screen. You might get choked up like I did, I'll admit it. 
You should go check it out at Cinemark Theaters. You can get your tickets at Cinemark.com. I'm Beppo! You want to see a trick? Yeah! yeah. Could I borrow a coin? What did you do? Send me back to the corner! Yeah. It was all the clown's fault.